Slavecast. 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 Welcome. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Slamcast. I'm your host, Greg. Let's get it started, shall we? How are y'all doing today? Hope you're all y'all are having a grand old time. Um, it's currently the Victoria Day long weekend, so I'm having a kick in long weekend, just hanging out, and it is getting quite hot here. Which I am all for. I'm all for warm weather. Uh, I definitely enjoy it more than cold weather. So I hope you guys are having a what feels like the beginning of summer, or at least other summer weather. Because I know we are over here, nice and bright and sunny, nice and awesome, just the way I like it. Uh, so I hope you guys are all having a good long weekend. Assuming you're having a long weekend. Um, if not, I hope you're having a good weekend or a good day. Whichever you prefer. Um, today, I know it seems like I say this every week, but um, this week might be a shorter recording. Mainly because I'm having another one of those on-the-fly podcasts. Don't really know what I'm going to talk about. Don't really have anything um, that I could think of this week. But um, I've thought of a few things before recording this, so I think I'm going to, if I remember them, hop on those topics, uh, see where those go. Uh, Yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, First thing I want to go over, besides the fact that it is Victoria Day, or I guess tomorrow would be Victoria Day. I'm recording on a Sunday. And I also was thinking about that. I always tell you guys what day I'm recording on. I don't think it really matters to you guys. So I might just stop doing that. Because I feel like it's not necessarily unnecessary. But um, yeah, I guess it's kind of unnecessary. Kind of pointless. Um, but I don't know. You guys let me know if you really want to find out what day I'm recording on. If that uh, means so much to you guys. I keep hitting stuff, so ignore all these noises I'm making by slapping around the desk. Um, one thing I want to quickly discuss for those of you who keep in touch with Canadian government um, news, I guess you'll refer, I'll refer to it as that. Um, Elbowgate happened basically last week. It's either Monday or Sunday that it happened. Actually, I think it was Sunday. Man, that was a big old hullabaloo over... Uh, I don't even know if I should get into this or not. But I think we can spend our time worrying about other things other than one MP making a big fuss about getting pushed over after getting in the way of other people. It's just a whole thing. And... Justin Trudeau just throwing those elbows out in the House of Commons. Our own Prime Minister just smashing people in the face with elbows. Just throwing them across the room. It was a travesty. It was was devastation. (laughs) Honestly, if there was one good thing that came out of this whole elbow gate, and I can't believe we're even calling it that controversy or whatever the hell you want to call it, because it seems like everybody thinks, as far as I could tell, it seems like everybody thinks it's a pretty dumb thing that we're all talking about. But if there's one thing that I've, um, one, one thing that's come out of this and I'm glad that it's happened because of this is all of the jokes and such that have been coming out because of all this, uh, hoopla, so to speak. I have gotten quite a few laughs over what some people have been posting on the internet based on this whole, um, Whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't even know what to call it anymore. Freaking ridiculous. I remember my brother sent me a buddy's buddy's post that he saw. It was basically like, I'm not going to try and remember it off the top of my head right now, but it was basically uh, imagining Elbow Gate as if it were like a wrestling match. And I remember 
um, the post referring to Justin Trudeau as <laughs> Justin Angel of Death Trudeau, which I thought was uh, hilarious. So yeah, that happened, and it was dumb in my opinion. Um, so we'll move on from that. Um, what else has been going on? Um, let me know if you care to let me know what you guys have been up to this long weekend, because honestly, I was unsure what I was going to do this long weekend and I spent most of it trying to be productive. I've been noticing, I, I, I feel this a lot when I'm at school and I'm starting to feel this now on the weekends when I'm at home for my co-op. Um, I always don't like the idea of kind of wasting my own time, if that makes any sense. I feel like on the weekends, I kind of feel um, almost sort of anxious about wasting time surfing the net or watching TV or doing something that's not in any way sociable. I don't know. It could it could be I'm, I'm starting to plan or I'm starting to blame anything that's um, mental based on my hor current hormone imbalance. Essentially, just been blaming everything on that. So I'm kind of blaming that it on that right now. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back a few podcast episodes. Um, I believe the episode's called uh, "Brain Dead Battery." Go to that one, and I'll explain everything about my hormone imbalance. Um, no news on that for those of you wondering. Um, but I have an appointment within the next week, so I'm hoping that can all get sorted out sooner rather than later. Because at this point, I've just been blaming everything on my hormone imbalance. Oh, this happened hormone imbalance. Oh, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, hormone imbalance. It's pretty funny. I've been thinking about that a lot and also, not to bring this down, but essentially just <laughs> trying to fill time by bringing up whatever I can. I've been thinking about a lot about the afterlife and the possibility... Um, of what's to happen after after we pass on and, and move on to the next realm, the next next dimension, so to speak. And I've sort of been coming to terms with the possibility that when we go on, it'll essentially just be like, as the term goes, it'll essentially be like a big sleep where it's just darkness and there's nothing. And I've been thinking about that a lot over the last few weeks, and I feel like that's possibly because of my hormone imbalance. I'm not sure. But it's been making me anxious, and that's happened to me from time to time. You know that red-hot anxiety you get? But I usually get it, like, of course, the worst time possible. I usually get it, like, right as I'm dozing off before bed, and then I kind of just shake it off and then go to sleep. But I noticed I've been having those kinds of thoughts during, like, midday, which I feel like is kind of different and new for me. So I don't know about that. So I'm hoping all these weird anxious thoughts that I've been getting will start to not start to but go away once I get this whole hormone thing figured out but for the time being it's not too bad it hasn't been too drastic but yeah I got went completely off rails there which isn't really a problem but what I was saying is um shit uh <laughs> yeah I feel like I'm wasting my time on the weekends and it's crazy because it's this weird cyclical cycle where it's like, shit, I don't want to waste all my time this weekend, like surfing the net and watching TV shows. But then I get so sort of caught up in trying to figure out what I want to do that I end up not doing anything. Because like, it's not even that. I just don't want to spend the whole weekend surfing the net. and But then I'm afraid if I catch up on TV shows or watch a movie. It's like, man, I'm wasting a few hours of my weekend. And that's kind of a waste of time. It's essentially coming down to the fact that I just want to like go out and do something social, which is funny because last weekend I went to a friggin' wedding and next week I'm going to my sister's wedding. I'll we'll be talking about that next week. Um, I might have to postpone my podcast by a few days. Uh, eh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, now that I think about it, it's pretty dumb. So hopefully it is the hormone thing, and it's not just me being dumb. Because <laughs> I'd rather it be some in chemical imbalance in my body than myself just just being an idiot. 
I feel like we can all agree on that. But yeah, it just reminded me. I also have started, um, I'm taking a summer course this summer um, called Personality. It's a psychology course. I believe a second year psychology course online. Yeah, so I got to start doing readings for that and stuff. And man, it's been hard trying to find an online, a free online version of that textbook. I think I'm actually going to have to buy it. I don't know what you're thinking. You're probably super shocked and gasping at the thought of a student buying a textbook. And I am too. But I think it's just something I'm going to have to do for this one case. Which is pretty funny because like almost every time... It, it seems like all my elective courses, I actually need to buy the textbook. Whereas any sort of computer science course I have to take, there's always somebody in my course who already has the book digitally through piracy or it's super easy to pirate because some computer science um, student has already gotten a PDF version of it and put it up on the internet for folks like myself to grab. It's pretty hilarious. And then when it comes to something like psychology, nobody throws it up there. Nobody makes a PDF version of it. They're all tech savvy uh, dudes and dudettes. So it sucks. I have to pay money for my education. What kind of a joke is that? But seriously, people. Tuition costs a shit ton. It's kind of fucking bullshit. I think we all know that. But yeah, I'm gonna... I, I should actually start doing the reading today because the first week of readings are meant to be done today. And I need to add to a discussion board just to introduce myself. So I should probably... My plan is to essentially do that right after this is done. Um... So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, but speaking of keeping up with TV shows, um, I've actually spent some of this long weekend, which is why I asked initially what I'm wondering what you guys are up to this long weekend, if you have a long weekend. Um, I've been catching up with uh, cartoon shows that I watch. This is a topic that I keep putting off. I don't know why. Um, but I feel like the reason is, I feel like there's still, even with the internet and everything, I feel like there's still a stigma towards, uh, adults watching, and I say this with quotations, watching adult, or er, watching children's cartoons. And for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, no, I'm not talking about My Little Pony, though, to each their own, I'm not going to shit on people who watch that stuff. Just there's a line there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that, but I think if you spend five minutes searching up my little pony stuff, you will find that line and the fact that that line has been crossed many a times. Um The cartoons I'm talking about are sort of the usual suspects, if there's any sort of usual suspects when it comes to cartoons that adults also watch, even though they're initially aimed for kids. Uh so you got like Adventure Time, Regular Show, Gravity Falls, Rest in Peace, Gravity Falls, and uh, Steven Universe. So I need to catch up with those because another crazy thing is too is Cartoon Network is just so weird at this point right now when it comes to, um, I guess, scheduling dates for putting up new episodes of TV shows. I feel like it's mainly because of the whole internet uprising and streaming and stuff like that. They literally just kind of throw out shows whenever they feel like it. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why Gravity Falls had to stop after its second season. It's a great show. I highly recommend you guys check it out. From what I've heard, though, I haven't caught up with it. And I feel like I'm kind of putting that off because I know it's come to an end. I've heard um, the finale is really good. So I'm kind of amped up to check that out. Really good show. Um First season's kind of, I want to say slow, but then there's a part like later into the first season and it's like, oh shit, this show is pretty fucking rad. So yeah, check that out. Check out all the shows I just mentioned. Those are my uh, weekly recommendations. How about that? Two birds with one stone right there. But yeah, I feel like there's a bit of a stigma with, and I say this again with quotations, children's cartoons. 
that adults can still watch or adults do watch because when you watch them you realize that most of the shows that I mentioned they're very much like there's nothing super childish about them it's not they're kind of like like even you watch Spongebob I don't know about newer Spongebob episodes but if you watch older Spongebob episodes maybe that's nostalgia I don't know but hell there's still some timeless TV shows that I'm sure you can still watch from the clips that I've seen every once in a while it seems like Shows like Animaniacs and stuff, you could still easily watch it as an adult and still totally enjoy them. They're just some of them are just so well written, or the comedy so well written that it uh, it transcends age. That's my um, stoner philosophical statement for the week. It transcends age. I need to have more weekly and uh, episodic little nuggets throughout my um, <clears throat> excuse me throughout my. Uh, episodes i already have my weekly recommendations might as well add uh stoner statement of the week because why the hell not i don't know if that'll be a thing that's just a funny thing i said uh we'll see but yeah it's sort of a weird stigma or at least i feel like it is if you if you disagree and you think it's totally cool totally fine hey i'm all for that and i'm glad you feel that way i just i don't know But yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Basically, especially because there's adult cartoons nowadays that everybody watches. And it's like, oh, it's so funny. Like, you got Archer, which is great. Bob's Burgers, which is great. I stopped watching it a while ago. I don't know. It got kind of repetitive for me. I could get back into it, though. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, Family Guy, Rick and Morty. Like, you have those adult cartoons, but then when it comes to quote-unquote children's cartoons i don't know i feel like there's a stigma there and hey if you're one of those people that just doesn't like watching cartoons you've just gotten past it i got nothing against you you know there i'm not gonna say anything to try and change your mind hey if you don't want to watch cartoons whether whether they're for adults or for quote-unquote for children um you know teach their own don't even worry about it don't don't think I'm I'm pointing out to you and be like watch do- or watch watch cartoons man they're good for you. Blah. No, it's not like that. It's just I don't know. I feel like there's a sort of stigma where it's like you can't watch cartoons. You're an adult. That's my. I don't even know what character that was, but he's an asshole character. Don't watch cartoons. They're for children. I hope I have an excuse to bring that voice back uh, one of these days. I uh, just got to keep it in, in, in the brain vault. Anyways, that's that. Another thing that I really like about watching cartoons, aside from the being well-written and being able to do things that no normal um, live-action TV shows aren't able to do, um is animation man i enjoy drawing i want to get into animation but i feel like i don't have the time or the patience or the mentality to animate i'd always feel like it would look like shit no matter what i draw but man animation for some of these shows like you can tell when it's well animated and there's like a lot of expression in a face or a lot of movement in a in a i guess in an animation I just really, sometimes I see that kind of stuff and it's like, man, that looks really good. Like, that's a real good frame right there. That's a really good animation sequence. Like, I don't know much about this stuff, but I follow a few animators on Twitter and stuff. And, man, there's days and weeks of time that go into just a single episode or just a few hours worth of, or just a few minutes worth of animation. It's ridiculous. These people are committed to their craft. That is a fact. That is for sure. Wow, that really picked up on the microphone. Sorry about that. What else is there to talk about? I don't know. Uh, speaking of um, another another TV show, I want to mention, even though it's it's completed its run, so to speak. Even though I've been hearing that. 
there's a possibility of Netflix picking it up. Young Justice. Um, it's a good TV show, and it's on Netflix. So I'd say check it out. Um, especially if you're, into, if you're into the whole superhero scene right now, it's DC, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's I'd still I'd still say it's very well written. Um, even though apparently you have to watch, according to my buddies, you have to watch the other Justice League cartoons before that one. So maybe you want to do that one instead. The animation's good. The writing's really good. Ended way too early. But yeah. If you essentially want to see a TV show where there are a bunch of superheroes together and you don't have to worry about something like Civil War to come out to see a bunch of superheroes fight side by side or against each other, cartoons are where it's at. That's another thing that I find awesome about cartoons is you don't have to worry about actors getting paid or special effects or whatever. They just draw it. If they're able to draw it and the story works, they draw it, which is also pretty awesome. But yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to end it here. Don't want to waste your guys' time with your long weekend. So I hope you have a great rest of the long weekend. I hope you have a great week. All those things that I say every week that I always kind of fumble with because I don't know how to end these things properly. Have a good one, everybody. Outro Greg, take us away. Well, folks, that's all we have for this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll join us next week for whatever crazy shit we talk about. Until next time, have a good one. Peace.